Welcome back to a brand new episode of Passion Beer. We're here on St. Patty's Day 2012. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and we have a um, non dyed green beer today. <laughs> Naturally green. Naturally green, yeah. Uh, this is, I mean, it's either this or like a Berliner with uh, some Woodruff. Uh, this is the Phantom Which Magic be Ghost. Too bad. Which won't be too bad, yeah. This is the Magic Ghost um, out of Belgium. I don't know exactly what they put in it to make it green, but um, from what I've heard, it can range in any greenness from a bright neon green to more of a murky We shall see. Greens. Yeah, we're, we're going to see what we get today. Pour carefully as to not disturb the sediment. Yes, sir. Ooh. Well, isn't that interesting? It's like a golden <laughs> green. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> it looks like beer wow. with mold in it. Dude, that's kind of a cool colored green, actually. That's a lot better. I thought we were gonna go. We, we were gonna get the dark, the dark green, but this is kind of uh, a funky. That is That's interesting. interesting. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but uh, you definitely get like a almost like a teenage mutant ninja turtle screen. <laughs> yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Definitely cool. I mean, we got some nice carbonation bubbles sticking. Not not too much head, but uh, yeah, interesting. It almost tastes like it has that wood. Smells. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, it smells. <laughs> that that word. Um, no, it, you're right. It, it does though. But uh, no, this one clocks in at around eight percent. Yeah, uh, I don't. I it's not made with Woodruff. I'm, I would definitely have to look up exactly what gives it this green tint. Um, but that's interesting. I mean, it's got a. It, it's got a very. What are you reading something? Yeah, it has the ingredients, <laughs> but it doesn't say what makes it. Oh. Green. just the spices. Has, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it's got a very. Um, Definitely a saison I mean, it's it's kind of got this, like, fresh field, grassy floral. It's a spring. It. It's it, a very it, spring it, Spring smell. aroma to it. I mean... That's, that's pretty good, though. You hit it right on the head. It's yeah. almost like a saison. Yeah. But, no, 8%, so, I mean, cheers. Try it out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. That's interesting, because right off the bat, you get, like, this sweetness wow. where you almost... It, it almost tastes like a sour, where you right. want to pucker a little bit. But it's smooth at the very end. It's more of a sweetness rather than a sour. Right. Um, very, very different. Um, That's way different than anything I've had personally. <laughs> um, it, it. I mean, it's definitely more in line with the saison, with the sweetness, a lot of spring. I mean, it almost tastes exactly how it smells. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely, like you said, you get this sweet, almost tartness up front. It washes into this very... I don't even know how to describe what this flavor is at the end, but it's not anything that's like sweet or tart. It's kind of very, it's very balanced. It kind of is a nice transition here. It's different though. It it's is. Definitely different it, than. It's nice and, and different. Like, I mean, yeah. it, uh, definitely, I mean, I, I, I'd i probably pick up one of these. I mean, just try it with a couple yeah, friends sure. and stuff. I mean, how often do you get green beer for Yeah, kind of a while? cool, I mean, definitely that's why I thought we would open it on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. You know? It's different. I mean... You know, personally, probably not my favorite beer. I, and I think it actually is a Saison. I think that's actually what the style that they classify this as is a Saison, like a farmhouse beer. Definitely not my favorite in there, but, I mean, it's something very unique, very different. And it's interesting. I mean, uh, Magic Ghost, uh, being a green beer, and it has the different batches turn out the different uh, right. tint of green. Right. I mean, that, that's pretty interesting too. So it's like a surprise in every bottle, I guess. It is. I mean, I've seen some pictures online where this is like a really, not dark, but more of like a murky, darker okay. green. Some are like neon. I mean, I think ours are a pretty light green to, to be yeah. honest with you. But yeah, definitely cool. Um, you want to start with the ratings? Yeah, I'll probably come in 86. Okay. Um, it, it, it's definitely interesting, worth trying. Uh, not necessarily my quote unquote cup of tea, um, but uh, no, definitely good. Um, I, I think the thing that gives it a little bit of a higher rating for me is that almost sourness up front, and then it smooths. It's a very interesting transition that one wouldn't really expect out of something like this. Absolutely, definitely. Um, I'm going to go just one point below you. I'm going to go an 85. Uh, the sole fact that I love how this beer starts. I wish it would end like that. Uh -huh. It it, it kind of takes this 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 change in the flavor profile, and it ends with a nice transition and a nice balance. But there's just something about 
how, as it's sitting here, that's just a little off. It yeah. just tastes a little different than what you started the beer with. But but I think uh, that's what's great about this beer. It's unique. It, it is. It's definitely a one-off beer that, I mean, I, I wouldn't go out to the shop and pick up. I mean, Magic. Right. <laughs> yeah. you, you look at this, and it looks like it's been sitting on the shelf since the 80s with that label. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, no, I mean, I think it's a one-time done beer oh, also. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, well, I got one more in the cellar, so maybe we'll sit on that and see if it, anything changes with it. But... Nonetheless, I mean, I think it's definitely interesting. Definitely one to try if you can come across it in some way, shape, or form. Definitely a cool beer to just pick up and and yeah. you know, and try. But any final thoughts you got, or is that pretty much it? That's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Well, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our St. Patty's Day, and I hope you guys do too. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> See you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.